Hello guys, have you ever had this problem? You're trying to code something and you remember you've done it in some project already in the past, but in which project you don't remember. We probably all have faced this situation. So in this video, I will show you kind of a solution to that, particularly to our own filament examples project. And maybe you will adopt some of that solution logic to your projects. So here's the story. I participate a lot in the official filament discord and I want to fix the problem or help someone with some question. And this question is about wizard form. This video, by the way, is about filament and our filament examples, but it's not necessarily requiring you to know the filament. It's a general logic. So you have the keyword of wizard form, and I totally remember I've done wizard forms in filament in the past, but where? And this was one of the reasons why we created our filamentexamples.com, kind of a big repository of many examples of many projects around filament. And when people purchase that, they get access to this repository. And that repository contain multiple projects, multiple applications. So each application is actually a full Laravel application, just except vendor. So what this allows us to do, this structure, is search in that repository. So this is the idea. If you collect your repositories by some kind of keyword like filament or maybe all repositories, then GitHub search is a pretty powerful thing. So for example, I go wizard here and I immediately see some code or if I want to see the full list, here I see the readme of wizard project. So I know that this quiz wizard is what I need to look at. And this is the first part of the solution. The second part is to actually launch that project locally, that quiz wizard, and take a look whether it's the same thing that the question is asking about and how does it work? Is it actually helpful? Of course, sometimes you can take a look at the code and immediately know if you have the answer, but in my cases, I usually need to click around and try to reproduce the scenario or more often customize the code to get to the actual question of the user. So the second part of the solution is I created a specific bash script, shell script, to quickly have that project installed in a folder. Now, this is of course highly individual and this is my local solution that is not really flexible or shareable, but I just wanted to show you that as an idea. I have a shell script, which I called examples.ch shell script, and here's what it does. We will work with a folder called example, with the result of example.test in the browser that I can work with and locally have Laravel heard, but the same logic would work on Laravel Valet that take care of the domains of example.test corresponds to the folder example. So first I delete the folder if it exists, and then I copy from filament examples projects repository, which I've cloned down locally to that folder then cd to that folder. Also, I prepared a typical .env file, which works with SQLite, so I don't need to create a separate database, and then a typical thing, composer install, artisan migrate, and then open Google Chrome on admin page for login to filament. So here's how it works. I have forms quiz wizard. So in that project, I have forms and quiz wizard, and I need to create that example. So what I do is I launch my shell script with one parameter of folder, which is forms, quiz wizard and let's see what happens it installs the laravel filament and everything and opens the browser and then i can log in with default user and password which is the same for all our projects and filament examples and try to reproduce the scenario so yeah this is my kind of local experiment but with idea for you guys that you can adopt some parts of that process or maybe the whole process of using github search if you have multiple repositories under your vendor or maybe in one project as subfolders, because GitHub search will show you code in a very convenient way for you to quickly look around. And then you may write a bash script to quickly install that project in a new folder with SQLite for convenience. But of course, it depends on your project. Maybe your installation is a bit different, more complex, but you get the idea. What do you think? Or what process and tools do you use if you want to find some keywords in your past projects? Share your experience and advice in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.